Uh, hello, so uh, my name is Angelina and I came from Prague University of uh, Business and Economy. My name is Fabio, I'm from Peru and I study in Lovachevsky University, Russia, and I got my exchange program in Oslo. Hi, I'm Jacopo, I'm an Italian student from uh, Torino, but I study in Bolzano. My name is Koichi and I'm an exchange student from Japan. Hello, I'm Valeria Abramova. I'm an exchange student here in Azul. I come from Russia, Nizhny Novgorod. Hello, my name is Urim Kim. I'm Korean, but currently I'm living in Finland. So hello, my name is Ayat. I'm 21. I'm from Maastricht University and I study international business. Hello, uh, I am Ejem. I study in Belgium uh, at Thomas More. Um, probably the first thing that uh, triggered me positively is the size of the city. Uh, it's huge. Uh, <laughs> the amount of people around, uh, but also the friendliness and openness of the Turkish people I met so far. When I first arrived, uh, and after one week, uh, I really like uh, how the people are warm with the foreigners, with other cultures. I feel it like home like Latin America, where you can talk almost everywhere with everybody. My first impression of Istanbul was that it was strikingly beautiful. One of the first evenings that I got here, we were on the excursion with Ozin University. And we were going back from European side to Asian side to go back to the campus. And it was evening and the sun was setting and everything was pink. It was so, so beautiful and every building was also lit up. So I was mesmerized with the city and I feel like I still am, I still am. What surprised me the most and which was unexpected is that the city is, to begin with, really, really big and it's really active as a city. So there's always something to do wherever you go. There's people and there's party and there's things to visit. So it's a really nice city and it's also really developed with the metros and the uh, transports. I didn't expect that. It's more like a developed country, more than I thought. And also, they have a lot of nature things and beautiful buildings yeah, and good food. Yeah, everything I like. It. Uh, Istanbul is large. Ozu has really a lot of uh, uh, nice places. And how I say it, like you have always um, meet new place, new people. Autonomy of the campus, uh, so it's like living uh, in a city within the city, so you don't really have to, you can go out of course to sightsee, see other places, uh, you know, enjoy the city life, but at the same time uh, you have everything you need on campus. You like the campus, you have a lot. There are a lot of places where you can get a drink, uh, you can go to the gym, there is a swimming pool, there is a lot to do at school, so yeah. I think that's the perfect thing about this school. Agree. <laughs> Our favorite place is actually just right here. So the stairs in front of the architecture building and our favorite activity, I think we can say, would be to go get a cold drink from Nero and to all meet here. We would do that especially since it's uh, the hot days began. We really have been doing that. I like go swimming. <laughs> uh, we have a swimming pool in the gym, so in the mornings I like to go there. Hanging out with my friends, uh, with the new friends who I met here, and then uh, here the coffee, uh, Turkish coffee, and then the, I think cafe culture is very new for me compared to Finland, so uh, I like to go to different kinds of co uh, coffee shops. I really like my room, uh, I really enjoy the people that live in the same floor as uh, I do. Uh, we manage to um, get pretty close, uh, um, the generally very open people, uh, very welcoming, uh, so they all make you feel like you're home. I've never lived in a dorm before I came here. And I was expecting a lot of things, but I got very lucky with my roommates. 
Ask the sweetest girls. They always share their food with me and I try to share my food with them as well. We're very respectful of each other. And whenever I come uh, to my dorm, after a long day out, we always talk about how our day was. So yes, it's very nice. I have three roommates. Everyone is very nice and kind. And of course the dorm is clean and yeah, it's good to live. Actually, dorm life is really cool in the way that uh, the campus is really big and it's really safe again. Uh, so I could go out at night if I get bored. I could go to the gym. Uh, everything is uh, open till really late, so it's really good. And I think it's an easy way to make some friends too, because if you feel alone in your own room, you can just go to the kitchen and have a chai with your neighbors. Or I think campus life was really cool as a student. Here. It was very nice, but uh, I just walked five minutes and I'm in the class. So uh, that's a good part, but sometimes I feel like uh, I'm living in school like 24 7. So, uh, places I try to not that I can't get, so uh, that I can release my some stress and then stuff like that. Everything is close. Uh, you don't have to go outside because there is uh, supermarkets, sport activities, uh, some services. So uh, it's better to stay here because also the dorms uh, look uh, like more hotel than dorms uh, which I'm used to. There is uh, a lot of events thanks to amazing uh, office uh, exchange office for students. Uh, and uh, also there is a lot of events from students clubs. So for example, uh, uh, we visit, uh, visited uh, some um, museums and the main uh, places uh, in Istanbul. And also uh, there is a lot of uh, trips, uh, for example, to other cities. Recently we have International Day. Then I realized there are so many different like, nations and many friends and yeah, diverse. I love this like diversity, like university the most. You can go f uh, to clubs for dancing, for fighting, even if you're interested in history, there are clubs about it, about sports, science. Mm, you don't get bored here. You can do whatever you want, either doing sports or either continuing your studies here. I take uh, digital marketing in hospitality. I take AI applications in hospitality. I also take uh, movements in cinema as my elective because I'm interested in cinema. Besides hospitality, also financial accounting in hospitality again, and history of art. In my home, Uni, uh, I am uh, study economy, but here I could take uh, some courses from business. So, for example, I have uh, uh, marketing, uh, international business or human uh, resources. So I'm taking a class from the architecture faculty that is called the Modernity and Spatial Design. Um, another one uh, from the Mixed Design and Gastronomy track that is called the Food and Consumer Behavior. Um, another one is Turkish for Foreigners which helps a lot uh, to, you know, navigate in the city. Um, and another class is the seminar in design, technology and society and the last one I take is Art of Marbling or Ebru, uh, which is this. <laughs> Definitely the food, because I'm really liking Turkish food. Um, but also um, the, the, the overall vibe of Istanbul, uh, from the people to the places, it's always there is like something to do, a new place to see, or just uh, to get lost somewhere, walking around. <laughs> this country is the only one everyone speaks Turkish. Then after, I, after my country, of course, everyone speaks Japanese. So I cannot say like no other when I into the place now anyway. So I'm gonna miss the this language that I'm
Istanbul. <laughs> Istanbul. I think the freedom that we have here as students, because we only go to classes and then we are free and we can do whatever we want. So I think the freedom is the. And again, the safety. Not gonna lie, it's a really safe city and school. So to just feel uh, secured everywhere you go, I think we will miss that. And again, like being with our friends all day, all night. We're always as a group. And it's only students, so I think we're gonna miss the student life here, yeah. Nowadays, I would miss weather <laughs> and also the life of campus. Because in Finland, we don't have campus life. Because our all major are separated um, in the cities. They have all has like own buildings, so we don't have like campus life at all in Finland. So the Campus life, uh, I would, I think I would miss two things: the people and the campus. Um, I met really interesting people here. The international community is big, so you meet people with different backgrounds, different nationalities, and the campus itself. Um, as you have many options to do after your classes, you will miss like to have all these facilities near to you. Like in my home university, I have to take a bus or it takes more time to do the same things I do here. Uh, memorable, challenges, fun, exciting and cultural. Uh, the most wonderful adventure ever. The best experience of My life. <laughs> Coming to Istanbul might feel very scary, especially for people who come from the cities smaller than Istanbul. And when you just come here, you're all alone, you're on your own. But you have to remember that all other Erasmus or exchange students are also all alone here. You're basically alone together and that you guys have to stick together and you have to help each other out. In order to survive in this big city, you have to find people who will take care of you, but most importantly, you have to find people who you will want to take care of as well. To make trying to be as open as possible because the university is filled with international students, so it's really a chance to get to know people from all over the world or still from realities that you wouldn't maybe get to know so, so close by. Uh, be excited, don't um, be scared to get overwhelmed in the beginning when you will arrive. It was really overwhelming for us, all the metros, the spaces. Istanbul is really, really big, but don't be scared. The city is big, but you'll get used to it. Um, be patient and don't be scared to go out. Don't think, oh, it's too far, it's two hours away. Two hours in Istanbul becomes the new 30 minutes. Yeah, true. So I, I would feel say like then. try to take the metro as much as you can and don't take too much buses because of the traffic it takes a lot of time to get somewhere. And don't be scared to talk to other students. I feel like we've made a group friends and since then we're always together, we've traveled together. So don't be scared to go to people because you can meet some really nice people. Yeah, I agree. To take most of the opportunities that OSU offer. Like, of course, you're coming for studies, but apart from that, you can also take part in the clubs, you can also meet people. So it's not all about coming here, getting your career done and getting out. Don't hesitate and uh, apply for OZU. <laughs> Bye to everyone, <laughs> enjoy your experience. <laughs>